and I came to tell you about our raw food road trip. Woo! We are going all the way from Northern California to Colorado and we're eating raw the whole time. And we're gonna take you on our journey to show you how awesome it is, how amazing you can feel. And even if you're on a budget, it's totally doable and it's fun and it's a challenge, but um, we can do it because it's so easy to go on a road trip and just eat unhealthy and eat fast food and all that stuff. And um, we hope that this video helps you. Check back in for the next one. And uh, we're gonna um, show you our first breakfast snack. I'm really excited about our raw food road trip and I'm going to show you what we're going to have for breakfast. Start our raw food adventure. This is an awesome snack that we both love. Um, it's just bananas and then this is ground up flaxseed powder which is awesome because it supplies you with a lot of omega 3s which you really need. So basically all you do is you open your banana, break off a little piece, dip it in the flax. Cut up these cucumbers, and this is what you do, you stick it in there, it's like a chip, except for it's raw. Mmm, so good. And you can even cut up some peppers, and use the pepper to dip. It was quick, it was easy, so good, tasty, really healthy. Do it. Mmm. Um, we are continuing our raw food road trip. Today we are driving through Nevada, and it is hot as hell here. It's about 98 degrees and we just got into Nevada. So today we're going to focus on concentrating on hydrating. So we both have water, loads of water. Um, we got some coconut water. Roxanne's gnawing on some carrots right now. Mm, carrot! Ah! Getting really into it. Um, I'm busy making this awesome salad which contains lots of nice baby spinach and then some shredded cabbage. And I'm going to put some cucumber some avocado, some bell pepper, and tomatoes, and then some apple cider vinegar and olive oil, and that's going to be our lunch. So we will update you on the next stop. See you later. Hey guys, Roxy here, and we are doing a raw food road trip. Woo! And uh, I'm going way too fast for my own good. Okay, and I'm just going to show you that I'm about to eat a date. Dates are awesome because they're really sweet and they just satisfy that sweet tooth that you get sometimes when you go to the gas station and you're like, hang, I'm just going to get a chocolate or I'm going to get some, a donut or whatever, but you don't need to do that. So before your trip, get some dates. Mm. Mm. They're so juicy. They're so good. So it's a great snack for the road. It keeps you satisfied. It gives you that sugar for that energy. And I'm sure it has lots of nutrients. I'm not sure exactly every nutrient in it, but it's great and really tasty. So have a 
Have an awesome day. See you later. Bye. Hey guys, we're just leaving Salt Lake City on our raw food road trip. And we are hungry. We just had a little bit of uh, leftover watermelon. And it's good. Um, but we couldn't find Whole Foods on the GPS. So we can't stop by there. And I'm seeing McDonald's and Denny's and all these places that sound really tasty. But we're not going to do it. Um, so we see that Starbucks is coming up. And even though it's not raw, we're going to go there. And we might get a coffee. And we're going to get on the internet. And we're going to research to see what's coming up on our way in terms of nutrition shops, whole shops, little local cafes that maybe have some options for us. So anyways, I need to slow down. I'm going way too fast. Um, I'll keep you updated and let you know what's going on. Some love. Hey guys, we're in Utah for our raw food road trip. It is very vast out here. It's so expansive. There's just a bunch of nothingness and everythingness at the same time. And I'm hungry. Woo. So, I've decided to make mar raw marinated mushrooms. Mmm, so tasty. Okay, so let me show you. Here's my mushrooms in my little container. So what you do is, uh, you get your mushrooms. It's a lot easier if you have a bigger container, but this is all we got. And just throw some really good flavors on there. I got a lime. Squeeze. Now it's good to get some uh, good moisture because that's what really soaks into the mushroom. I got some Himalayan sea salt. Throw it on there. Bam. Got some. I'll show you what else I've been putting on there. I got some black pepper. I got some olive oil. This is um, garlic infused olive oil. And then also got a few little spices uh, like these crushed red peppers because I love having some spice. So you throw it all in there. You mix it up. Um, if you don't have enough space to mix it up, what you can do is you can throw it in this bag. Shake it up. Shake it up. Marinate those mushrooms. Mm. I'm gonna keep doing it. It might take you an hour to really get the flavor in there, but it'll be worth it. And um, that's what I'm making right now as we're driving through Utah. What a beautiful day. Thanks for joining me, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.